Hello everybody and welcome to a new episode of Chrono Teaches. Today we will be covering construction foam. Mostly because up until about two hours ago, I didn't know how to use it. I barely even knew what it was. So we'll start at looking at the parts we need. We need a CF sprayer, which basically puts the CF foam where we need it. We have the CF pellets that go into the CF sprayer. We have a CF backpack, which will keep your CF sprayer charged. And then we have scaffolding, so we can shape what we're going to make. Now, let's start with how do we make these things? Because if we go into here and we just try to figure out how to make a CF sprayer, if we just select it and we hit the RR, nothing happens. So we don't... It, it's not programmed into TechIt to show us how to make a CF sprayer. Or a CF backpack. And the CF pellet is anything but clear. You need the CF foam to make a CF pellet, but I always thought you needed a CF pellet to make the foam. So we're just going in a circle here. It's not very helpful. So, after a little bit of searching on the wiki, I found out how to make the CF foam. You need a water cell, you need clay dust, which is just a clay block run through a macerator, coal dust, which is coal run through a macerator, and redstone. So if we put those all together, and it doesn't really matter what order they're in, it's shapeless, shapeless crafting we get our construction foam. Now, then we go into a compressor. Now, I'm using a singularity compressor just because I've never used one before and I figured, what the hell. And then it compresses it down to our CF pellets. So I'll skip ahead after these are done compressing. And now that we have all our CF pellets, now we have to worry about two things. One, how do we make our CF sprayer? And two, how do we fill it? Well, again, searching on the wiki discovers the recipe. And there it is, basically four cobblestone and a stick. And then you just, to fill up the CF sprayer, you take your CF pellets and put it diagonally to your sprayer and that will fill it up. If you can see, it's the bar is it has nothing there and it's got a little bit here. And then basically you just do that over and over again. Until it's full. And that didn't even take a lot. That was that was pretty good. Okay, so now that we have this, how do we use it? Well, as you can see, you can make some interesting shapes out of it. So let's see how we can do that. If we just right click with it, oh, we get this huge, ugly mass of white. And we can punch these, and they pop instantly. For the record, I am not in creative mode. This is, this is just how the construction foam works. But if we leave it sit for a little while, and there we got one, uh, the construction foam will turn into solid blocks. Now these bricks are pretty solid. They're stronger than stone, but less strong than reinforced concrete. They'll support or they'll survive TNT and industrial D TNT and creepers. But they will not survive, say, a nuke, a nuclear reactor, or just, you know, repeated beatings with a pickaxe. Now that's great, but unless you want to s spray randomly and then start pounding things into, the sh into shape, how do you make it into something usable? Well, that's where these come in, the scaffolding. 
Now the scaffolding is actually pretty cool. You put one down with just a simple right click, and then if you left click on the block, it keeps putting them up. So if I click on the bottom, it puts another one on the top. Now I like these too because you can climb them like ladders. So it's like pillaring, just easier. Now when you break them, they also break like cactus. You break the bottom one, the rest of them break. So now that we have all that information, let's build something relatively simple and use our CF sprayer on the scaffolding. And we have our CF foam in the shape of the scaffolding. Now, this, uh, the iron scaffolding works exactly the same, but the CF foam does not work on the iron scaffolding. It only works on the wooden scaffolding. And an interesting little side thing, when you're working with CF foam, it seems to be a little caustic, because if you walk into it, you take damage. I don't know why. I guess it's because it's partially not there. You could walk into it and take suffocation damage. I'm not sure. Now, to make the CF pack, what you will need is four fuel cans, two CF sprayers, an electronic circuit, and a bar of tin. And the recipe looks something like this. and then we get our CF backpack. And you'll notice that the CF sprayers were empty, but our CF backpack is half full. Fairly interesting. Now, how we fill that, we need a canner. And we put the CF backpack at the bottom, and then we put the pellets on the top. There. Sometimes Tekkit doesn't like it when you pull items from over here, so sometimes you have to manually create them. Which won't be a problem if you're doing this on a server, because chances are you won't be able to click from here anyways. So after a little while, and after probably about, let's see, a little more than two stacks, it will completely fill your CF backpack from completely empty to completely full. We'll just use that for now, just as an example. And then to use it, just take off your chest piece, put on the backpack, and spray. And it will keep the CF sprayer full. So now that we covered how to use it, let's cover what it's used for. Now, we already know that it can survive TNT and industrial TNT, and that's all. But the real purpose of CF foam is to hide wires. You just put a wire down and then you do the CF foam on top of it. The wire goes straight through the CF foam and is still usable. So that way once it solidifies, you got nice, pretty, hidden wiring going through your walls. Very useful. I actually use this in my castle that I have on my server to run power from upstairs to downstairs through a spiral staircase. It looks really good, and it serves a function. Now here we have all of the wiring from ultra-low current all the way through all of the cables to... 4x HV cabling to the EU detector to the EU splitter cables. So let's see what all can be covered. That is a yes on the ultra low current cabling. 
That is a yes on the copper cabling and on the insulated copper cabling. Ooh, that is a very yes on the gold. And on the single insulated gold. Yep, that's pretty much all of them. All of the cables can be covered in construction foam. Now, an added neat little trick. We can see that this construction foam has a cable in it, but this construction foam does not. When we punch that foam, it just breaks. When we punch this foam, it breaks the cable. So when you're working with construction foam, keep that in mind. And it also seems to vary greatly on how long it takes to dry out. So be careful when you're building. Now, one thing you can do with construction foam, and I don't see a particular purpose for this, but it's there just in case, is you can put it out one at a time just by setting it up like this. Now, you see I sprayed it into the center, but it didn't affect the scaffolding around it. So that's one way you could do just, say, one at a time if you needed to. Again, I don't know why you would need to, but it's there. One possible reason for a setup like this is so that when you put in cabling, you can use the CF sprayer around the cabling. Well, for the most part, without having too much overflow. Worked the first time, didn't work the second time. Not very reliable, but that's just what we've got. Well, now that we see the industrial craft cabling can be hidden, and we see how to use the scaffolding, let's see what else can be hidden. Here we have just regular vanilla redstone. This is the red cable from the red power mod insulated red cable, jacketed red cable. No. Not at all. Nope. So it just seems that industrial craft cabling can be covered. Can anything else be covered? Nothing gets absorbed except for the cabling itself. So yeah, that looks pretty much like the sole reason for CF foam. It's just for covering the cabling itself. Now, the neat thing about CF foam, since it's just a simple flat ugly kind of looking gray unless you need that color then it's fine you can paint it with these painters now we can see how to build them we just need wool and a couple pieces of iron and then from there to get the color we want we just use the regular dyed dye that we use the gray dye the orange dye magenta, rose, dandelion, and the painter. And then from there, it's just a simple task of painting. And that's pretty much it for construction foam. There's not much else to it. So, I will see you guys in the next episode of Chrono Teaches.